Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa. I'm a junior here at Roger Williams University. I'm a construction management major. Um, I'm from Campo, Pennsylvania. I will be showing you around the Richard L. Brady Applied Learning Laboratories, also known as the Seacom Labs Building. Some majors that have classes in here are our engineering majors, construction management majors, and our computer science majors. So the space we're in now is the atrium. This space is for students to hang out, do some work, grab a cup of coffee at the little cafe over there, and just kind of relax in between classes. Now I'll be taking you guys over to the engineering fabrication lab. So the space we're in now is the engineering fabrication lab. So a big part of your education here, especially as an engineering student, is prototyping uh, and design. So in this space, it's used for more open-ended discussions and more open-ended design. So one of those design products or projects that went on here last year was a pizza robot. So the students here designed, fabricated, and programmed this pizza robot to go around campus and just kind of deliver pizzas. Uh, students have access to a bunch of tools uh, and materials and they can actually do those projects here. The space is also used for collaborative design so students can work with each other and brainstorm ideas. The metal shop behind me is where a lot of our engineering students can cut, drill holes, or fabricate anything with metal. We have a bandsaw over here. Uh, the people right there are working with a drill press uh, so they can drill pretty straight holes in whatever metal that they may be drilling. Welcome to the Construction Management Methods and Materials Lab. This space is located across the atrium from where we are just at in the Engineering Fabrication Lab. So in this space, our construction management students get hands-on experiential learning, which is a huge aspect of your education here. Last semester, we built a small single-family home uh, within this space. Uh, students actually got to lay the foundation, build the eye joists, and put all the framing up. We even had a little roof on it. Personally, this is one of my favorite spaces in the Seacom building. So in this space, we have a two-ton crane, uh, which is capable of holding a small SUV. Uh, we use this crane to erect steel structures, uh, some timber framing. Uh, but this crane also helps students learn safety protocol when dealing with cranes. Uh, and it also teaches the hand signals, which you can use outside of the classroom on a job site. We are now on the second floor uh, overlooking the atrium where we just were. Uh, the space behind me is our common space where a lot of students like to study, um, put big equations on the boards, uh, and kind of just hang out with friends. Along the back wall of that space, we have a bunch of project rooms. Project rooms could have projects. Uh, research, uh, or it's just a breakout space for students to hang out and study in. So this is our innovation maker space area. Uh, in this space, we have some 3D printers along the wall where students can prototype and print out whatever designs they may have. The space is located off the common space right next to our project rooms. This is our electrical engineering lab. Uh, this is where our electrical engineers have their actual hands-on learning. Uh, rather than just talking about circuits and how they work, uh, they can actually build and test them within this space. So the space we're in now is the computer science software experimentation lab. In here, our computer science majors run their softwares uh, and experiment with different ones uh, on these very powerful computers. So this is the fluid mechanics lab. This is an engineering specific space. Students will learn about fluids and hydraulics. Rather than estimating how much force is going to be exerted on a submerged object, students can actually measure and see the theories in action. So now we're in the construction management emerging technologies lab. The space behind me uh, has 24 displays that come together and make one big screen. Uh, on this screen, we can display plans and specs and blow up models to an astronomical size so we can get a better look at what we're seeing. So the space we're in now is our Mechanics of Materials Lab. This is another engineering space. This is where our engineering students learn about the strengths uh, and properties of materials. Down the hall from our Mechanics of Materials Lab on the third floor, we have our faculty and staff offices. Uh, this is a space where students can go to the offices of any professors uh, and ask any questions that they may have. Right across the way from the Seacom Labs building is another engineering building. It's home to a couple other classrooms, faculty offices, 
and some other hands-on spaces. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Seacomb Labs building in our School of Engineering, Computer Science, and Construction Management. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out.